internet, my name is Laura, aka Forbidden Phyllis, and welcome back to my channel! Um, I think I once mentioned that I was a huge geek, um, but I haven't really like touched upon that on my channel yet. So, today I'm gonna do a Playbus um, Harry Potter sorting quiz, and this should be fun. So let's go! Okay, so first question. What would you want to be remembered as? Good, wise, bold, or great? I think I would like to be remembered as good. So I'm gonna go with that one. I guess we'll see. I have my laptop down here, by the way. It's right here. <laughs> I just haven't kind of grasped the whole split screen thing yet in editing, so that'll be on a later point. But I will leave the link to the quiz down in the description box somewhere. So you can take it yourself. Okay, question two. What would you not want to be remembered as? Ordinary, ignorant, selfish, or cowardly? I would like not to be remembered as ignorant, because that sucks. Question three. If you were to choose a potion, which would you choose? A wisdom potion, a love potion, a power potion, or a glory potion? I think I would go for the wisdom potion, because it would be really nice to know a lot of things. Maybe a love potion. Because God knows I need help on the love department because poor. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna go with wisdom. Question... I have lost count. Hold on. That was the fourth question. Um, how would you want people to remember you? Ask for more stories of your adventures. Uh, opinion only matters when I'm alive. Think of your achievement. Miss you and smile. I would love for people to miss me and smile because I think that just means you've been a good person okay, Question 5 T -t -t. What scents bring you comfort? Parchment, home, crackling log fire or sea? I think the sea actually brings me more comfort I like the wind and the just looking over the waves and the sounds the waves make so I'm gonna go with that Hate sand though Holy crap! I don't know if you can see it, but that blue box, like that one, Ooh, that one, that is the question. So, you're given four boxes, but only allowed to open one. The first is an ornate, ornate gold box, which says, unbearable temptation lies within. The second is a black box with a rune you know to be the mark of Merlin. The third is a torturous shell box in which a small animal seems to be squeaking inside. The fourth is a pewter box that reads, I only open for the worthy. Which box do you select? The first, the second, the third, or the fourth? Uh, that's tough. I think I would have to go with the animal because I would probably be too curious. And I wanted to get it out of there. Okay. Which instrument do you find the most pleasant? The violin, the drums, piano or trumpet? That depends on the case. I play a little bit of piano and it's very comforting. But the violin could be as well. No, I'm gonna go with piano. Because drums are not comforting at all. You find yourself in a room with four goblets before you. Each containing a different potion. Which one would you drink? The purple one that smells of plum and uh, plums and chocolate. Sorry. <laughs> uh, the golden potion, which reflects sunspots across the room. The silvery glittery potion that appears to consist of crushed diamonds. The inky black one that makes odd visions swim before you. I would go with the purple one because I love purple. I think. Eh. Okay. You're in a whimsical garden. Which object attracts your attention? The wizard statue with the strange trunkling eye? Uh, the lumini... L lumini... I can't seem to pronounce that word. But lumius... Lumnius pool that seems to have something lurking in its deep. Um, the silver trees with golden apples? Or the red tot... tot Apparently, it's the day where Laura can't speak English. The red 
toadstools, which appears to be talking to your children. I think, honestly, if the toadstools were talking to each other, that's the red mushrooms with white dots that are very toxic. Um, I would probably be attracted to that because that would be weird. I'm curious. I'm always curious. Okay, Hogwarts is burning down and there are three important things you must save, but are in different locations. There are student records, a dragon pox cure, and a book of Merlin. In which order do you rescue uh, the items? Either book, records, cure, records, cure, book, book, cure, records, cure, book, records, records, book, cure, or cure, records, book. That is tough. I mean, the book of Merlin would probably be the most important one, right? And then the cure for Dragonpox. So the records must be last. I don't know. <laughs> okay. What would you most want to be? Liked, envied, praised, imitated, feared, or trusted? I guess I would want to be liked or trusted. Probably trusted more than liked. I like being loyal. Uh, what do you find most hard to cope with? Boredom, hunger, cold, loneliness, or being ignored? I don't mind loneliness and I don't mind boredom because I'm rarely bored. Uh, and I don't get hungry because of something that I'm going to talk about in another video. And the cold never bothered me anyway. So I guess it's going to be being ignored because that sucks. Okay. Which are you most looking forward to at Hogwarts? Transfiguration, Hexes and Jinxes, Broom Flying, Castle Secrets, Appreciation... Uh, no. Apparition, <laughs> Disapparition. Um, magical Creatures, Learning Every Area of Magic. I mean, it would be pretty cool to be able to transfigure yourself. Um, Magical creatures would also be really cool, but all of it would also be really cool. I'm gonna go with the magical creatures. I feel like that's a thing I could do. Okay, we're at question 14 now. Which power do you wish you had? Invisibility, super strength, change the past, talk to animals, read minds, change appearance. I would love to be able to talk to animals. I mean, imagine what they could tell of stories. I'm, I'm gonna do that, that one, definitely. And then more questions. Which animals are you most eager to learn about? Centaurs, uh, goblins, trolls, vampires, ghosts, werewolves, or merpeople? I think... Centaurs would be fun. I have no clue how many questions are in this quiz. <laughs> you notice one of your classmates has a cheat sheet and is using it on a test. After the test, Professor Fildwick Confront you and ask if your friend cheated. How do you respond? Lie and say you don't know. Confront your classmate and tell them to ask. And tell them uh, to tell Fieldwick. If they don't, you will. You would have told before the test. Um, tell Fieldwick will be rewarded with the, the house point. I would probably confront them and say don't cheat. But I would never tell on anyone. And least of all, it was one of my friends. Okay, next question. You meet a four-way fork in the road. Which path do you, ch path do you choose? Uh, the lantern lit alley, the white sunny grassy path, the cobbled Asian building path, or the twisted, twisting woodsy path? These are tongue twisters. <laughs> Probably the lantern lit alley. I don't like dark. A muggle confronts you and say they know that you're a wizard. You respond with asking them why they think so, offering them a jinx sample, telling them that you're worried about their mental health, agreeing and walking away bluffing. I would probably be agreeing and saying, of course I'm a wizard, and just walk away. 
Uh, you're walking through the forbidden forest at night when you hear a twig snap. What do you do? Draw a wand and stand your ground. Withdraw into the shadows, proceed with caution and conceal your wand. Draw a wand and find the source of the noise. I would probably proceed with caution because I needed to get away. And I would probably conceal my wand because I didn't want them to know that I was a wizard if it was a muggle. I know that the Forbidden Forest probably doesn't have muggles, but you know, I didn't want an em enemy. Eb, eb, I think I said it right. Enemy? 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 enemy. <laughs> I wouldn't want them to know that I had a wand, so yeah. Proceed with caution. How many questions are there? Oh, wait. It went back. Okay. You must cross a bridge, but there's a, f a furious troll blocking the way. He won't go down without a fight. You suggest all three fight? Draw a lot, volunteer to fight, refuse him. I'm gonna confuse him, because that would be fun. Okay, let's see next question. In your worst nightmare, you would dream of being at a very high height with no else to stop you from falling, your friends and family not remembering who you are, having a high silly voice, standing behind a door peering through the keyhole, not being able to go inside to help. Probably the last one actually, because I don't think there's anything more terrifying as knowing that somebody is hurting or being hurt and you can't do anything to help them. I don't like being helpless. Okay. Moon or stars? Definitely the stars. You are at a fork in the road at night. You choose the path that goes next to the river, goes through the forest. I love rivers at night, so I'm gonna go with the river. Don't like forests. This is never ending! Oh my god! Dawn or dusk? Dusk, definitely. Although I'm always up to dawn, so. Black or white? I'm gonna go with the, the white, I think. This is never ending. Left or right? Let's go right. Heads or tails? Uh, let's say heads. Oh, it was calculating. Hufflepuff! Yay! <laughs> it's funny because I've taken a hell of a lot of these quizzes and every time I end up being Hufflepuff. And one time I ended up being Ravenclaw and I have no idea but how I became a Ravenclaw because I am not Ravenclaw, I'm Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff Brian, it's the best house. <laughs> but no, yeah. Thank you for watching this. I've been Laura, you've been you, and I hope to see you next time. And also, if you take this quiz, leave your results in the comments because I want to know which house you're in. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye!